As of April 10th, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 23,037 cases in country with 54 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 5.3 per 100,000 population per day, which represents a 123% increase from last week, with a 6% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 0 0.95. We have noted a total of 366 COVID deaths. We have four positive COVID-19 cases admitted at the respiratory hospital. This past week, as we continue to register cases daily, we note increases in our public health indicators. The Ministry of Health is monitoring the global and regional situation and ensuring surveillance measures remain in place. Globally, the COVID-19 cases are increasing, with the steepest increase noted in the UK and some US states reporting significant increases. We also note the major outbreak in neighboring Martinique at this time, the sub-lineages of Omicron BA1 and BA2 are still transmitting intensely across the globe. The number of new deaths globally has remained stable. These increases are due to the total lifting of public health measures, especially in countries with low vaccination coverage. The Caribbean Public Health Agency hosted the meeting of chief medical officers from April 6th to the 7th in Trinidad and Tobago. The main objectives included the provision of regional and national COVID-19 responses, discussion on the safe and sustainable strategy initiatives in the new COVID-19 era, and to advise on optimal ways of working and responding to the ongoing challenges of COVID-19. During this two-day meeting, member states presented on the lessons learned and best practices in the COVID-19 response. They also discussed common approaches to responding to COVID-19 moving forward. The Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19, its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. We need to ensure that as we remove restrictive measures and open up, that our proven public health protective measures are in place, especially to protect the most vulnerable. We appeal to all organizations, public and private sector, to ensure the maintenance of the public health protocols. Let us strive to sustain the low number of COVID-19 cases as we live, work, study, and recreate safely with COVID-19.